Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Media Alternative. So, NVIDIA Pasco GTX 1080, 1070, 1060 benchmark sleek 3D Mark 11 performance entry supported. Um, uh, multiply potential uh, NVIDIA Pasco 3D Mark 11 GPU series have been supported. The entry entries are varied and and show of GPUs with performance figures that range from very high. Uh, the GTX uh, 980 Ti territory to entries that show performance closer to GTX 970. Before we get into the performance figures, uh, I would like to give a shout out to video cards who have supported two, or two of the four entries we are sharing with you today. Also, as a reminder, please keep your uh, salt shakers handy at all times during this. The 3D mark entries you are about to see do not match any current or previous launch uh, graphic cards from NVIDIA. Well, we shall see that, my friends. Um, the first entry we, we have um, is of an identified NVIDIA GeForce uh, graphic card with 7680 megabytes of graf graphical memory, 512 megabytes of short of uh, 8 gigabytes, very likely the test chip. Most <coughs> More interestingly uh, is that NVIDIA GPU's VRAM is clocked at 2000 MHz, 8000 MHz effective. This, it's a good time to point out that NVIDIA has, an, has no GPUs on the market configured with 8GB of uh, 8000 MHz DDR5 memory and, uh, and currently no 8GB GPUs with performance that nearly identical to 980 Ti. The only 8GB 900 series video cards NVIDIA currently has in the market are uh, its GM204 based mobility chips which can come configured with 4 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte of 7000 megahertz DDR5 memory so let's have a look through this I hope I can zoom it in oh, let's have a look I can't even um, I can't even fucking zoom it in what's this um, I don't know how they made this uh, anyway, this is the best I can zoom in. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as we can see, um, you can't really fucking see much here. Like, what, what the fuck is with this? As we can see, like, it's, it's, um, there's no even point of me actually going to this video. Uh, with this, with, with the fucking, because I can't really, you can't really see it much. You know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, it doesn't say what, 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 what are the other ones? You know? <laughs> fucking all, I hate this shit like this, you know? However, as mentioned earlier, neither does the uh, GTX 980M or 980M, no, uh, Notebook match the performance figures seen above, which are in in line with the 980 Ti. So we might uh, might um, very well be looking at GTX 1070, 1080, or mobility version of it either. Also worth a note is that uh, 545 megahertz clock speed rec recorded above. After we done a bit of digging around, we found that most cases when 3D Mark does not fully identify the graphic cards in question, it will report. It will report a 540 mega megahertz clock speed is despite uh, whatever the actual clock speed of the card is. Um, so in this case, indeed, uh, in all the following entries, you will see that 400 megahertz erroneously report reported as the GPU frequency because 3D Mark failed to read the actual clock speed of the card, possibly the result of BIOS misread. This can be confirmed by looking at some of the mis, uh, misidentified 970 and 980 entries with the recorded clock speed of 540 megahertz, which uh, also happen to show performance figures that are on pair with the normally normally expected of these cards at the boost frequencies. Really, no, uh, nowhere near about what we will score 540 megahertz. Again, there's no point on me actually looking at this. Um, but yeah um anyway interestingly the card um actually i haven't read this one the the, the last interesting entries identifies three gigabyte two two thousand five hundred megahertz and ten thousand megahertz effective graphic card we could 
we could potentially be looking at very first GDR5X passcode graphical here, 3D Mark will on occasion report erroneous uh, memory frequency figures doubling the actual speed. However, there is no 3 gigabyte, uh, 1250 megahertz uh, NVIDIA graphic card that the 780 reference features uh, 1500 megahertz, 6000 megahertz effective DDR5 memory. And 970 Ti features 7000 megahertz effective DDR5 DDR memory. Uh, interestingly, the card is showing performance very similar to the factory overclock 970 graphic cards. Keep in mind that DDR5X memory modules come in 512, 7, 768, 1GB, 1.5GB, and 2 gigabyte configuration. This card could possibly have 128 bit bus or 192 bit bus for a total of 160GB or 240 gigabytes per second benefit, so we might be looking at GTX 1060 uh, class graphic card here. The fact that DDR5X memory chip come in a var variety of uh, cap capabilities also means that NVIDIA could con considerably launch in 4 gigabyte or even 6 gigabyte version of this card. Yesterday we discussed rumor that 1080, 1080 Ti and next gen Titan specs they have made the rounds on the web. Today we, we, we we got uh, to look potential performance figures for NVIDIA mid-range offering. So they're, they're looking at a mid-range card here, you know what I mean? Like, they, they don't even know what, what it is, that's the thing, you know, it, it could be 1060 or 1070, you know, uh, like, in the, they don't know what it is. It's very hard to tell, you know, but I don't think it's 1080 because the, the 1080 card, it's, um, it's, it's faster, 40% faster than 980 Ti or even Titan X. So I don't know what this is actually, but I'm looking forward to seeing more. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I do apologize. I was not able to explain this chart or even zoom it in. It's just 3D Mark 11 just pointless with this because we cannot see the configuration here. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more. Thank you.